Hello and welcome back. Today we're on Tapping Simulator and they just came out with a brand new update. The new update has new Super Rebirth skills and then they also have a 24 hour times 2 uh, event going on and that means times 2 uh, taps, coins, power, dungeon rewards, uh, SR tokens, gems, and luck. So that is pretty amazing. That means we can probably get our dungeon like skills and stuff super high up there. Also right before I even like started recording I actually pulled this. It is the secret turtle racer and it's at level 1. I literally just pulled it from this over here. This little spin the wheel thing. Like I spun it almost 4 minutes ago and you guys can see it just landed right there. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what we'll do for um, getting SR tokens just because it worked out so good last time is I'm thinking if we grind out the dungeons, which I have an idea for how we are going to grind it out. The idea that I have is probably grinding all the way up to floor 15 or anywhere from 15 to 21. That way we can constantly get better stuff and hopefully get our power all the way up. Especially with double the uh, reward amount. That's going to be amazing. And if we can do that, we can essentially get all the way up to floor 30 in just like no time. No time at all. So I'm thinking that'll be the goal and we'll probably eventually get better pets along the way. I think my best pets... Besides the secret turtle racer is from this one, the mothership. And the mothership pets are these yellow ones right here and that green one in the front. Overall, we'll definitely have to do a lot of grinding because if you look at the cost at some of these uh, skills that they just added in, they are crazy. We start missing the freedom party. Uh, King of Taps, we need a mat. Well, actually, we can just do that right now. Let me just uh, get this all the way up. Granted, I can easily super rebirth, but I just don't get a lot. Boss Slayer. Hmm. We'll definitely have to max that out eventually. But the new perks that they added in is Dungeon Seer. Gear uh, Tinker. <laughs> Tinkerer. I. I feel like I'm mispronouncing that by a lot. Then, uh, Abi, uh, Hagler. And then Dungeon Master. If they, if they're already starting at, like, QI, QA, QI, you can just imagine how expensive all these, uh, upgrades are gonna be. And let's see, is there anything else that we missed? Nope. Also, uh, I was I was gonna record like a video on maxing this out, but uh, it didn't go to plan, so I just kind of got rid of it. But anyways, uh, the new things that I've got so far that you guys probably missed out on is that I bought the two new game passes, which are. Let me see. Let me see. Where is it? Not that. Not that. Nope. Oh, here we go. Secret Chest Radar. We got that one. And we got Lower Boss Cooldown. Those are the two new ones from when I hopped on. And these are like months apart from whenever I was first or when I was last time actually playing the game to now. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. So we are pretty much good to go for the grind portion. So let's just go ahead and go right on into it and I'll see you guys in a bit.
and we are back we are back from the grind as you guys can tell we made it up to floor 75 ghost king the king slayer reaper of souls was defeated let's just go ahead and see how much upgrades and stuff we have gotten in the dungeon i know we have not gotten a lot of uh, sr tokens or anything like that it's just that if you do the super rebirth and stuff like that you do not get that much unless your multipliers are much much higher like you need these multipliers or some like this but I simply do not have those multipliers so I just didn't want to take that route so we want a different route but let's just go ahead and see how much we got so levels completed 75 damage dealt 162 million let's go all the way up here all right so it gave us a uh, 12x gives you a 10x taps booster all right so we got 18 for damage we got 16 for jumps we got 2x uh 10 gem boosters okay we got 8 for uh more health 28 for being faster 172 uh, 172 uh, pet XP 1.95 billion so we did get quite a bit I was trying to look and trying to do the math in my head to see if it would be worth it getting the uh, t uh, times 10 booster for SR this would have been 19 billion for getting all the way up to seven or level 75 but it's whatever also we got 26 more seconds every level that you get for um, this one that gives you more time per boss in the boss dungeon that just adds on one more second so it's pretty sweet we have practically almost about like three minutes worth uh, let's just go ahead and go in here and just see what kind of secret chests are in here uh, let's see let's see there should have been or there should at least be one which I should almost just grind out getting this uh, door unlocked. Like there's two doors I do not have unlocked in this place. So I might almost grind that out as well. But it is quite a bit. It's 100 billion and then it goes all the way up to 350 billion. And I'm assuming one of the chests must be over there. It's just an, an assumption. Not entirely sure, but I'm just assuming that's what's going on. Uh, let's see, let's see. So we are not really seeing a secret chest anywhere. Any any of the secret chests down here would be kind of worthless, to be quite honest. They don't really add on too much. Let's go ahead and collect these. I'll probably do some more offline grinding here. Because, uh, like you guys can see, we did not get, we didn't, we definitely did not get anywhere close to doing any of this. Except for we can do this a couple times. There you go, let's just make that 20. Also, another easy way to get, uh, gems, or not gems, but, uh, tokens, is, oops, oh no, I missed the jump. Anyways, as I was saying, another easy way to get tokens is if you do uh, Path of Fortune. Oof, I literally almost missed it. But if you do the Path of Fortune, there's somewhere along the way where you can actually get something that gives you a hefty amount of SR tokens. That's roughly about 20 billion that it gives you just by doing that instead of like upgrading anything like that. So that is actually pretty sweet. I would say definitely go do that. You guys can easily do Path of Fortune over and over again. There's no time limit on it. But there is a time limit on the chest at the end. But if you're lucky enough, you can actually find the hefty, uh, the hefty thing. So I would say definitely go do that. Oh no. All, all of the things are gone. Hmm. That's a shame. So I guess they must have updated it about this time yesterday. Anyways, I suppose that'll have to do it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. 
uh, please subscribe to the channel if you guys have not. Like the video, comment down below any other games that you guys want me to go check out. I'll try my best. You guys can even ask me random questions. It could be about games. It could be about other stuff. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, so I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. And see ya. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.